All right, this is simple paracord. And I'm going to show you methods that you don't need the fancy jigs, you don't need fancy equipment. You just need to, a little know-how and some paracord. So, you've seen these. This is a Cobra braid bracelet. And I'm going to show you a close-up view of the Cobra braid bracelet. That doesn't have the end cut yet, but it's for example, has a loop and a knot to tie it together. We're going to do that for a half band in this video, and I'm going to show you the same pattern would work for a wristband. So the half band is just a regular old real tree hat. $15 felt. We're going to turn it into a nice woodsman Appalachian hat. And we're going to start by using the 550 paracord in black, some generic 160 paracord just for simply the look and the difference in color. So, what you do, you take your hat, set it down, take your paracord. This is going to be your strand that goes on the inside of your weave, the cobra weave that we're doing. Take your paracord, run it around for a pattern. Okay, we were running the paracord around for a pattern. A little closer view, you just hold it snug on there, not real tight. And you want to get your measurement here. Just the regular measurement that it would meet the other loose end. Put your index finger and your thumb on it, hold it. Okay. Now that's the distance around your hat band. You hold it on the end of the board and measure it. Grab our tape measure, right on the board. Looks like 26 inches. And to be safe, you want to add like three inches to it to just the total measurement. And we double this measurement. So we had 26, we double it 52, and we're adding three inches, so we got 55 inches. I'll show you why we double it. So all I'm going to do is measure this out. I want to get 52 total. or 55 total so I'm going to go 27 and a half up here and run it back down to the end of the board it's not that difficult you're just getting extra 3 inches extra So we're holding that. I'll show you how we cut it. You double it and add three inches for your knot. That's the rules. Take your knife tight on that. And that's the generic stuff, so it's not as good. You'll see the fibers stink. You can't really use them for much anything but the rope itself. So that's the difference between generic and the good stuff. But we're using it for example. Take this lighter, use the blue flame so you have less black and messed up paracord. The best thing for this paracord for using it to weave is to have your fingers wet. Maybe running water and then run your fingers on it. So you get a nice smooth end and then you can just Sharpen that end up with your knife, or you can run it through easier than them pins, or just as easy. For example, you don't have to go out and get everything. If you have a drill and or nails and a board, that's all you need. So this here paracord, regular cobra weave and a knot, 
has an inner strand and a loop. So the the brown stuff goes down in two strands. That's why we doubled it. Then we have the three inches for the knot. It's the same theory as the wristband, the hat band. So we're going to use an overhand knot. So we take the ends together and we knot them. Simple, easy, looks like that one end could be whipped, so we have to whip it. And the size may change, so we're not going to get too picky with it. We just got to work with it. So, let's test it. Looks like we got a good fit here. See? We added the three inches. That's what we came up with. Doubled it, added three inches. So now the wristband fits on there real snug. And that's what you want. Okay. Or the hat band, I should call it. Now, you have this board, and this is where your drill and your screws come in handy. No jig necessary. This is your loop end. Put it down on there. You don't have to uh, have some special jig that goes two feet or three feet long. Just use your drill. And you can really get it tight. You gotta straighten the strands up. Make sure they're even, that's important. You can really get it tight with these screws. And we're going to pull it to the top so we have room to slide the weaves underneath the string. So all I'm doing is pulling it tight in the center of the board, screwing it down. Simple. Now we got tight cord to work with and we're ready to do the cobra weave. Okay, before I show you the cobra weave, I want to show you how you go about getting the center strand for your bracelet too. So if you're doing a bracelet, you normally do like for my wrist, it's like 10 inches. So I'll go around 20 inches and I'll add two or three for the knot. But then you can just test it on your wrist. So you just Put it in half and tie your knot and test it like I've done here. And if it fits good, then just put it on your board and put two screws in like we did the hat band. And make it somewhat tight. And the best thing to do is to take Say it's 10 inches, you want 10 feet of paracord for this. And what I did was I just took a small piece here because the hat band paracord, the black outer piece, is very long and I wanted to show you an easy way to do this so you can see the ends. This is just a small piece and we're going to do this underneath and we got to create a C over top so we have both strands going down underneath them two strands we create a C over top then we take the strand on the opposite side and go over and then we go under everything. I'm going to show you with the end so you can see how it goes. Like this. So this one on over top and under everything. We're pulling it in. And we want to leave 
room for that knot to get in, but not a lot on a bracelet because you want to make sure it's tight when you go to put it on. So you have your loop there. So now, if we made a C on the one side, we're going to make a C on the other side. And we're going to go over top. And then we're going to go under everything. And through the loop. We went under everything and through the C. So there we started our pattern. So now we go and make our C on the opposite side again. We'll go over top with this opposite strand and under the center strand and through the loop, through that C. Okay, so we continued that pattern the whole way down through on the hat pan. And you can see the inner strand shows. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the difference with using a longer strand. I kept these extra long here so you could see how it would be if you are dealing with long strands like the hat band. So you just make a C on the one side and it's pretty simple. Go over, you don't have to take the whole tip of the rope and then go through with that loop. You just go over and through. Pull. Just pull at one time. So now we're going to make our loop on this side, the opposite side this time. So we're going over and pushing it up through with our finger and grabbing it and pulling. And you just keep going. And I'll continue that to the end and make it tight here at the end. Just enough so you can use a knot. Alright, we're at the end here. We're going to make sure it's really tight. And all we got to do is take our knife. You probably want to pull it off at this point so you get your screw out of the way. So that's pretty simple. You just take your knife and cut the loose ends off wherever it's easiest. Gonna find a place where I can cut it tight. Now that we cut it tight, we're gonna whip that in. Let it melt a little. You want to make sure it don't pull loose. And a lot of times you just push the lighter in on it like that and it'll seal shut. So now we finished that part. Let's get to the rest. Now all we have is a simple Mossy Oak hat 1497. We have our band. We put the knot through the band and the loop there. You just do your loop. And that'll hold. And then we're ready to put it on the hat. Just slide it right over. And that was the original measurement that I took. Although it doesn't hurt to always have extra on there. That's a nice fit. And I put it on my head, fits perfect. And we're going to go with that, keep that there as a hat band. You can stitch that with uh, thread if you'd like, bank line, anything like that. And later we're going to do the brim of the hat and I'll show you how to do that with paracord. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay, we're going to go around the brim with this thinner paracord. And it's not 550, but it's just as strong and it'll work for shelters or anything like that. So, you could uh, make a jig just like I did. 
I took a half inch apart for the center of the holes and then I just went off this edge 3 8 3 8 off the edge and I just put 3 because you don't want much more than that because you got a curve and all I did was I nipped these edges off with the nips and I'm going to put it on the edge of my hat rim and we're going to weave that after we get the holes drilled so I'll demonstrate here how you do it so I'm making sure that the template is on the edge of my brim and I'm just going to drill usually just I drill till I see something come up like wood if you got a piece of plywood for underneath so now we got three holes and we'll go off to our last hole clean our bit as we go we'll put this through make sure we're in our last hole that's pretty crucial and we'll set it back down here so you're going to do the next two you're just going to hold this edge where my thumb is on that brim edge and I'll just hold my template still so we got started and we're going to go continue around with these holes then I'll show you once it's all done Okay, we got all the holes drilled, and I just took a lint lifter, and that took off all the felt and all the sawdust shavings off these holes. And instead of a needle, I just used, I have this light, lighter paracord here, this thinner stuff, but I just took the cigarette lighter, and I just wicked it that it's hard on the end and made like a point to it. So that works to go through these holes. And then I'll just push it through and take a good healthy amount through these. We're going to just continue like that. See how good that works? You don't need a needle, you just make that hard. You just run that lighter across that edge. And I'll continue the whole way around like that. Now here's what it looks like when it's all finished. Now we're going to do some shaping to the hat. We're going to secure that hat band a little better. But that's how you do it. And it turned out pretty good. Now once you finish doing all the brim, here's what it looks like. Need to add a few things here but it's a good old mountain hat and I hope you guys like this video I got more things to come so there you go boys $15 hat 